this was a coffee shop that I found online and was like, ooh, this looks good. And it took us way too long to get here. It was like in the most awkward spot in the middle of nowhere. And I need to stop looking for coffee shops because they're never anywhere easy to get to. Um, but it was a really cute little shop. It was pretty slow when we got there. And they closed within two hours when we got there, so we didn't get to sit there for very long. But they had, like, a shelf of books and then some games. And they had Agatha Christie. I'm covering the cover because it was inappropriate. Um, but anyway, I got something called Sago, I think. Maybe Sawago? I don't remember what it's called. Um, but it turns out I don't like it. Because I got a mango one and Lori got a strawberry one. And hers was, like, hers was fine i guess but it no i don't think i whatever this stuff is i don't think i like it it was not a good texture and it was like i don't like when you feel like you have to chew the liquid of your drink uh this was some weird roll cake thing um it tasted so very much like nothing like it had whipped cream and mango inside of there and, like, every time you took a bite, it was, like, no matter how small the bite, it ended up being such a big bite that, like, I puffed out my cheeks. And it was, like, I don't know why I did that. It was just really, really weird, and it didn't taste like anything. kind of tasted like if you mixed eggs with flour and milk, both of which taste like nothing, and then you just diluted everything until it was no flavor, and then you cooked that, that's kind of what it tasted like. And the whipped cream itself was also weird. Um, just in general, nothing I got this time was super interesting or good to me. But, you know, gotta try out new things. After going there, Lori and I headed to the mall because we wanted supper. We go to the mall a lot to um, just get... Uh, onigiri. I thought the name of this place, all I could think of was, if you know, you know, dim sum, and that's not what it stands for, obviously. I was really proud of my outfit this day. Lori had bought me the green part of it, actually, but she wasn't home for me to ask if it all worked together, so please tell me I did a good job, because I was really proud of it. But I was going to a coffee shop this day, so this was my pre-coffee coffee, and the coffee shop I was going to is on the way to north shore so it's like in the middle of the island so it takes over an hour to get there it's called surfers coffee and a bunch of people had mentioned it and said that i should head there i ended up getting chai while i was there they have um my they have kelly's favorite brand of chai but they have like five different flavors i didn't even know if it came in different flavors they have five different flavors of it and i got one that was came in a white can and it was so good um also this this dude he was there he was staring at me the whole time um apparently this is a very popular study spot because that's what basically everybody was doing and I was just there kind of like typing away on my laptop. Um, but yeah, I also got a mochi waffle and it was pretty good. Um, on the way back, I saw this really big pink building. This is me trying to get a, a like view of it and it's really hard on a bus. It was like huge and it was pink. And I was like, I'm going to Google it. So when I first Googled it, it was like, it's a, a hotel on a beach. And I was like, that ain't nowhere near a beach. And eventually it was like, oh, it's a, a hospital for the bases on island. So it's a... a government hospital and then before heading home i got a uh, supper and another drink from the mall My last video was just to show off the bird sounds because they get really loud in certain trees sometimes. Um, the sky was really pretty this day. I wanted to show how sky the, how, uh, how sky the sky was. I wanted to show how pretty the sky was um, when I was heading into Kailua. And so I tried to take a video on my moped, but it's really hard to see where it's pointed while driving my moped. And also every time a car would pass by, I was like, what if they think 
I'm a secret spy who's getting videos of their license plate numbers and is going to put them on the internet. And this is going on the internet, but they, I can't see the license plate numbers. My camera ain't that good. And then it was like super, super stormy on our side of the island. I was heading into town. And so this was in town and it was then completely clear. I was headed to the Alamoana Mall again because one of my old coworkers um, actually was on Oahu that day. They were staying in Waikiki, her and her family, and they're flying out to another island the next day. And so we met up for like an hour or two before the mall closed because it was already pretty late in the day. So it was really funny and just random that I happened to find out she was here and then we met up for coffee. So that was really fun. This was at my landlord's parents' house. Um, we were staying there for a night because our house apartment was getting tented for termites, and so they said we could sleep in their spare room. And they had this like cute little Zen garden thing. I would have made more of a video, but I, I didn't want to be like rude. Uh, but this was some of the other houses around there. The next clip you're gonna see is me riding um, to the coffee shop from my house. I just decided screw internet safety i'm gonna show you exactly how i come and go from my house every single day and i wanted to show a couple specific plants that i really love even though you can't see them very well because i'm riding a moped um but while you watch this lovely video uh, i'm gonna explain what happened while i was staying at their house um because they live in kaneohe and kaneohe is right next to kailua it's like a 10 minute drive and while I was there I was like I really want ice cream so I looked up an ice cream shop that was like 10 minutes away from me and um so I decided to head it out head out there but I have no way to like look at my phone as I drive so I just kind of have to like pull it up every once in a while and I do not know Kaneohe well I very rarely gone there and so I missed my left hand turn and so I'm in the leftmost lane and I'm like, oh, okay, I'll just turn off at the next, you know, stoplight. And at the next stoplight, it's like no left turns allowed. And I was like, oh, that sucks. And so uh, there was no other intersections that I ran into. After that, it was just, do you want to go to Honolulu or do you want to go to Pearl City? And I was like, surely at some point there's going to be an off ramp and I can just pull off. So I headed to Pearl City because it was on the right and mopeds are supposed to say in the rightmost lane if possible. So I was like, I'll just go this way. I am certain I will be able to get off at some point. I could not. I literally went on a high bridge and then through a mountain and then down the high bridge on a road that had just been rained on as it was getting dark on my moped, which is not supposed to go over 35 and like the highways here they're only 50 but that's still 15 speeds 15 what i i don't know the word and i give up but 15 under and so i was just there terrified and it, the the worst part was the sky was like really pretty and i was like man i would love this sky so much more if i wasn't mortally terrified right now so scared so i eventually get to pearl city and of course, Lori, um, she didn't go with me and she knew that I was going to get ice cream. So I just like send her a screenshot and I'm like, I'm in Pearl City. And she was like, on purpose? And I was like, no, no, Lori, not on purpose. I did not just decide to come here on my moped. But anyway, so then I was trying to get back because I had to. And it made me go all the way to Honolulu. And then from there, I could go and take the highway and return back to Kaneohe and so in the end it took me two hours altogether round trip and by the time I got back to Kaneohe I was like okay I went through all this I at least deserve some ice cream so I went to the same stupid ice cream shop that I was trying to get to in the first place and it wasn't even that good which is like the worst part about it but I made a 10 minute trip take a two hours and at one point while i was on the highway i was like looking behind me you know like checking blind spots which i have lots of and um my helmet caught wind and blew off my head so i had to stop on the side of the highway so i could walk back and grab my helmet because i was not about to continue without my helmet because i was terrified um so it was really horrible but the sky was really pretty in pearl city so that was the one singular good thing that happened that whole trip 
Um, I am now terrified of going to Kaneohe because I might accidentally end up on a highway I can't get off of again. And uh, on the way there, um, there was a song that I had really liked recently. And so usually what I do is because it only you only get through like two and a half songs before you reach your destination. I just played this song on repeat because I was fine listening to it two and a half times. But because of this unexpected detour, um, that song ended up playing like 50 times. And I couldn't turn it off because I was on a highway. I wasn't about to pull out my phone. Um, and so the song just wouldn't shut up the entire time I was doing this. And so the second I got there, the first thing I did was just turn off my stupid song. And then on the way back, I didn't want to have to deal with that all the way again. And so I just had no music. And because I had no music, I was like, well, I got to entertain myself somehow. So the entire way back, I was just talking to myself. But for some reason, I decided to do it in an accent that is in no accent. I don't know where I got this accent from or how I decided to do it and I can't really think about how to do it now but it was it was just a it was super random and I just talked to myself the entire time and I was like look at me on a highway isn't this highway so lovely I think I'd think it was so much more lovely if I was not a moped and you know stuff like that um and at some point I was like, man, I should start a comedy show because I'm hilarious. And then I was like, actually, nothing about this was funny. And it's only funny to me because I am bored, scared, and cold. Anyway, that's enough about my lovely trip. Um, I don't know if you noticed just in the video that it's been playing, but um, I find it kind of funny that everybody comes to Hawaii in the summer because the summer is clearly the ugliest time for Hawaii. Everything kind of got brown and dead and not quite dead, but almost there. And now that it's turning into fall, like trees are getting flowers again. And there's just like everything looks nicer. And so it was, I don't know, it was interesting to me because I just assumed that nothing died here ever. And it never looked ugly, but it kind of did, to be honest. Um, but yeah, this is honestly a longer video than I thought it did I did not realize it took me this long to get to the coffee shop but um these are my favorite trees that are over us right now and you can see how they just like shade over everything and they're really nice but whenever you drive under them they do this nice thing where they like block the sun from your eyes and then the second you come out from under them then you get blinded again and whenever there's gaps in the shade of the tree, then it's just a back and forth of being blinded and not. And it's really annoying, actually. Um, I somehow managed to conveniently have it where when I go to work, the sun is behind me. And when I come back from work, the sun is behind me. But anytime I have to go literally anywhere else, um, the sun ends up blinding me. Like if I drop Lori off somewhere or if I go somewhere for, for church or anything, it's always the sun blinding me. And it's really, really annoying. So I don't know how I got lucky with that. But yeah, I really like these trees. Um, these trees are also where birds hide and then they chirp really loudly. And they didn't do it for all of summer. And so I figured, you know, they were just gone. But the other day I heard them chirping again. And it's like really, really loud. And I actually really like it. But anyway, despite my promise, I really didn't do that much more this month. I went to that one coffee shop. I did not do very much else honestly i need to start exploring more i have two days off a week i don't know what i do with them i guess i'm just lazy i recently decided to start re-watching my favorite anime of all time but only all the episodes where my favorite characters show up and they do not show up very often this show has 1098 episodes i want to say and it's been running for 29 years now and each of them only has like 100 episodes that they show up in and so that, that's only so much you can do with it. And the episodes are only 20 minutes long. So it's really easy to watch all of them. Also, in this video, I don't know if it's just me, but that sky looks painted. That doesn't look like, a, and it's not even well painted. It looks very, very fake. But yeah, that's the, the path I take to get to the coffee shop. This is the little parking garage where we have to park for legal reasons. And then we just walk over to the coffee shop. And then once again, forget internet security here's both of Lori's jobs right next to each other if anybody wants to stalk her you know like I do uh they had their fall decorations up everywhere does but 
fall decorations really just means Halloween decorations. So you'll see like two pumpkins and then a bunch of other stuff. Um, then I went and got a drink, another drink before work, because both of these were for before work. And then I headed to work and I'm not going to show you what I did at work again, because I did that all last week. And then when I got home, I watched my show. I had another drink. So that's three drinks for this whole day. And this show is dope. Anybody who wants to watch over a thousand episodes should watch this show because it's great and very funny. And then this was the sun at, or the, I guess the sky at the end of the day. And then today we had a fall festival and it's in the parking lot where I work. And there was this stall just selling a bunch of shoes and they were all Nike shoes and they had a stage for music. And as I was leaving, they started playing the music. I walked around here for like maybe 30 minutes and then went home because I didn't see anything I wanted. And this is all the same stuff that they have at every farmer's market Lori and I go to. And then here's the stand for the place Lori works, Stock Your Goals. And they had a fun little um, place for the kids. And then they had a bunch of squish malls. That was the only thing I almost got. And I don't know if it shows up in the video, but these were like almost 3D. Like they weren't painted on flat wood, but it doesn't seem to be showing. I thought that was hilarious because it doesn't tell you what the first best thing you're ever going to eat is. And I still didn't quite figure out what it is because it looks like a churro and it was definitely not a churro. These guys sell you gold, apparently. And I asked them why they sold gold and they were like, for financial security. And then there were scrunchies and I also wanted scrunchies. I figured that would look prettier when it lit up at night, but I did not stay to find out. And then there was also this food truck that had Longhorns. And I was like, I bet this is barbecue. And it was. It was Texas barbecue. And I didn't get anything there either because I'd just eaten. And a couple of places that had example boxes like this, which I thought was a cool idea.